Pan Gi Moon only just arrived in Korea yesterday after stepping down from his position as the chief of UN, but already there are speculations of him joining the presidential race. With an early presidential election in this country a looming possibility, Gallup Korea revealed its survey of Korea's possible presidential favorites. Kim Young-gil reports. Former UN Secretary General Pan Ki Moon paid his respects to Korea's former presidents and the soldiers who sacrificed their lives for the country during a visit to the National Cemetery in Seoul on Friday. Paying my respects to the country's patriotic martyrs and soldiers was an opportunity for me to promise myself to work harder for Korea's development. On Saturday, he will visit his mother in his hometown in Umsong County, Chungcheongbuk-do province, where he will also visit his father's grave. Pan is facing widespread speculation about his presidential ambitions, though he has yet to officially declare his candidacy. He is considered a conservative figure here in Korea, but does not have an official party affiliation. Therefore, the political parties will likely be competitive in trying to recruit him. In a recent poll on likely presidential candidates released by Gallup Korea on Friday, the former chair of the Democratic Party of Korea, Moon Jae-in, came in first with 31 percent, while Pan ki moon polled in second place with 20 percent. Seongnam Mayor Lee Jae-myung was in third place with 12 percent. The same poll also looked at political party preference. The main opposition Democratic Party led the way with 41 percent support. The ruling Saenuri Party was at 12 percent. The minor opposition People's Party had 10 percent, and the newly founded Righteous Party was at 7 percent. The poll surveyed roughly 8,000 adults and was conducted from January 10 to the 12th. Korea is in the midst of a political crisis after lawmakers voted overwhelmingly in December to impeach President Park Geun-hye on charges of corruption and abuse of power. If the Constitutional Court upholds the impeachment motion, it will trigger an early election ahead of the original date in December. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.